first step this morning, get my package. It's heavy. I don't know if I can lift it one-handed. Also, it rained all night and clearly the downspout right here, not even a downspout. It's not working quite right because it's just flooding the sidewalk. Now to open this up. All right, this is heavier than I thought. <laughs> but, oh. All right, what is this? Let's hop in the car and I'll show you. All right, I had to kind of get my trunk situated. <laughs> cheer stuff, coach cheer stuff. I had to add stuff, take stuff out. I got to cheer last night and I was like, why is my bag so heavy? And it's because Ashley put my wrist weights in there. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, that's an extra 10 pounds. Um, but anyway, today's kind of a big day for me. It hasn't quite happened yet. Um, I'm hoping after this walk that it will. Um, but I am officially four ounces away from... Should I string you along or should I just tell you? <laughs> I should string you along. I'll string you along because I'm driving. I can't have my camera in my hand. Although you guys know that I have my camera in my hand all the time. So, oh, there's construction. I have to put the camera down. <laughs> I'm just teasing you guys, but I'll be right back. I told you I'd be back in just a second. <laughs> I'm at the park, ready to go walking. I've had um, my banana. Um, I've had my energy drink because I now know I can't. I need that in the morning. I don't like being um, dependent on caffeine, but um, it is helping me to not drink Coke later in the day. So, you know, it is what it is. But um, as I was saying, I am officially four ounces away from losing 50 pounds. So that's kind of a big thing. I have been on this journey for a couple years now. Mm. Yeah, like a year and a half-ish. I don't remember when I officially started it. Um, and I didn't start it with a lot of oomph. You know what I mean? Like, not nearly where I'm at now. And I even now, I need to, like, pick it up a little bit. But it is what it is. Everyone needs to accept where you're at on your journey. And I'm accepting where I'm at. Um, and that is that I am one-ish days away from or today it could happen today that's why I wanted to do this video today because I am four ounces away from losing 50 pounds that's from my heaviest weight um, and just to talk about that um, where I recognized my heaviest weight unfortunately was in a photo of myself at my mom's funeral and I remember, I knew I was overweight then. I'm not, I wasn't blind to myself. But after the fact, when I saw photos of myself and even um, videos of myself, when Jason took the camera for me at my mom's funeral, um, it took me a while to like relook at those and recognize, you know, the weight gain. And it took me a while after that to do something about it. And that also came with the help from my doctor. So, um, that's where I'm basing this off of, uh, was just that highest weight that I remember being at. And just being on this journey has been hard and long, but I have, um, not only do I have Jason in my corner, I have all of you in my corner. I want to help you guys. But I also have some family members who are on the same journey. And um, obviously my sister is here helping me as a doctor as well. I don't know if I have talked about that. Um, she is helping me. And I have a brother who is on the same journey and has been really motivational and had some good conversations. And I'm, <clears throat> I'm excited to text him. I already know what the text is gonna be today. Um, down 50 pounds and I'm gonna do it all in emojis and it'll be really cute and um, I called my dad yesterday and told him and he was very proud of me too and I felt good to like admit to my dad that I'm on this journey he's kind of known like he, he's aware 
but um, it was fun to tell him that. <clears throat> okay, no more crying. It's it's a lot, but I have more to go. I have more to go, and that I can't. I'm not going to explain why. I mean, obviously, I need to lose more weight. Um, but there's reasons why I want to lose more weight and a goal that I have for myself. So, um, but I'm not going to go into that today. Um, I'm saving that for when I get to my goal and then I'll tell you. Um, and that's not to string you along. That's for my own like mental psyche. I need to kind of keep that in my own head. And I've told a few friends, um, what that goal is, but to help me get through it I need to kind of keep that to myself so what are we doing today that's different besides the fact that I'm gonna start walking in the cold rainy skies and that is this 12 pound weight vest that I'm gonna put on right now and I don't think I want my jacket on with this sucker on I don't think I wore it around the house um, and out to the car and fixing my car up um, the trunk space and all that stuff and I was like I don't think I'm gonna need a jacket today even though it's only 60 I lost the I lost coverage here in my 63 degrees outside I think this is going to keep me pretty warm <laughs> so why did I get a weighted vest um, because it helps you burn more calories it builds muscle mass in areas of my body that I'm not working out right now um, I don't do like upper arm workouts and I want to I just I'm very motivated to walk right now while it's nice outside although that's not really that nice <laughs> um, but this is a way for me to start working out my upper core and I have the weighted wrist things as well to do my arms I'm not gonna do both today um, and I haven't had a chance to walk with my wrist ones yet but I'm not gonna do both of them today because I don't need to kill myself <laughs> But I'm very excited to try this one, especially on a day like today where it's colder and I'm not going to get like overly hot wearing this. And I don't know that we're going to get warm weather anymore. So I think this is the perfect time for me to start wearing this. So let me show you what it looks like on. And I got this specific style because I'm a female <laughs> and I have a chest. And Jason realized he wants one as well and he wants one that fits differently and he wants one that can add and take away weights and mine is only 12 pounds it's all inclusive in this pack and so he's gonna get one for himself to wear when he goes hiking to do the same thing give him some extra core strength training um, and like that I was motivated to get it for him <laughs> So, because usually he like will take an actual backpack and he's like, I don't need to do that. that that's, this is really cool that I can actually like just wear this and do some strength training for hiking and all that kind of stuff. And just for a general like workout. So let me put this on and get my car situated, put everything in where it goes when I'm out walking and I will show you what this looks like. The perfect prop up for you to see this. All right, here up in my car. So it fits like a backpack just goes up across the back of my chest and, um, and then I just click it I can tighten it loosen it if I need to I think that feels good just gonna play with it as I walk eventually I'll I'll do my wristbands but I've got to push my my watch down here in order for the wristband to go on and not hit against the watch um, so I'm I'm not gonna do that today these are my new weight loss goals this is gonna help me burn more calories and I'm kind of curious I want to look at my um, my fitness app and see how many like calories I normally burn I don't pay attention to how many calories I burn but it does track it I have it like as my one of my fitness things I have it like I have to burn 350 calories today or whatever and I usually burn like 700 calories when I'm on a like full six mile walk but I'm curious to look pat at the past walks that I've gone on compared to like what I might burn with this but I'm not gonna compare today's because I'm just gonna do a mild walk we'll just see how much I do um, but I gotta put the camera away maybe I will pull out my phone um, and show you along the way um, what it's like to use this and see how it feels and all that kind of stuff it feels really good on 
it's just definitely 12 pounds. <laughs> I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I could break to pieces and be left alone once more. If you hadn't been so patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my till you didn't anymore. And now I stand here calling at your door. Oh, now I stand here calling at your door. Yeah, I'm yours anywhere you want. Yeah, I'm yours. And now we're singing. Alright, I am done on my walk. Love this. I'm glad I started it on a not hot day. <laughs> um, so we're gonna take it off and show you how, maybe you can't even see how sweaty my back is up there. At least it feels sweaty, but excellent. I didn't feel it like digging at me. I didn't feel like, a lot of the time I just forgot that I had it on. Sorry, that was my... Look at that. I hit all my... I hit two goals. Your move and your exercise goal. I got some good miles in today. That needs to lay out and uh, dry off. It's another reason Jason decided to get his own. He's like, I don't know that I'm going to want your sweat and you're not going to want my sweat. <laughs> He's like, you're correct. Um, I, I love it. I am glad that I got it. And um, I walked five miles today in the rain, in and, out, in and out of rain, I should say. Um, felt excellent. So, unfortunately now, it's, only, it's already 1 p.m. Um, Abby's at work, Chelsea and Ashley are at home. Um, there's some, oh, there's, there's a few sorry, like podcast is playing. Um, so anyway. I feel really good. I'm gonna go home and I don't let the scale like like dictate my life by any means. I only weigh myself in the morning, but I am gonna get on the scale now um, just to see if I have in fact hit my goal <clears throat> just for the sake of today's video. I do track my weight loss. Um, I have reasons for that. I could just wait, but it's also um, it actually is helpful for me. It's motivating because when I wasn't seeing weight loss um, That was kind of frustrating and it would cause me to not want to go out for a walk. Oh, there's no there's no point This isn't doing any good So there's pros and cons to looking at the scale and everyone needs to just do their own thing But for me, it's been helpful as I have lost weight. So Cheers to that I'm gonna go home and get some protein and something good to eat and um, I am going to bring you throughout my day a little bit um, here forward, but I just really want this to be about like my journey and not necessarily, you know, the kid's day by any means. And we don't really have anything planned anyway. So we'll go home and I'm going to see what the scale says. And I'm okay with it either way because I know I'm close and it is what it is. I'm not going to like do anything drastic to make that happen today by any means. I'm happy with where I'm at and I'm so close to it that it's just that alone is motivating. So we're going to head home and um, I got to find a place for this to like, I guess I could just do it on my seat. Let me go put it in the back. I took it off and put it here because this is just where I was at. But I need to find a place that I can dry out. Um, and I think it'll work in the back of the car. We'll put it here for now. Um, so I love it. I absolutely love having that. If you are on a goal, if you are on a journey yourself and you want to have something else that will kind of just up your game a little bit, um, I highly recommend that they're on Amazon. We did look at Dick's the other day and they just, all the ones that they had were like either overkill or really like geared for men and way more front pack ish. And like you had to put the weights in individually and I don't want that. Um, so, all right, let's go. All right, I'm at home, and despite the fact that it's raining, it's very muggy in here. <laughs> I'm already sweaty after, I mean, I just spot cleaned up. I didn't take a shower. 
Um, I want to turn my fan on, but the hose came apart. We've had to like tape them together. So Abby's getting me the tape that's upstairs because our bedroom one always comes apart. But I'm hot and sweaty because I went through my closet and this is one thing I keep having to do. It's not a bad thing, but I keep having to go through my clothes. And this stuff isn't necessarily stuff that, well, these are shorts that don't fit anymore. Um, this stuff isn't necessarily stuff that doesn't fit anymore, but it's stuff that's not making me happy anymore. Um, and I tried on all of my jeans um, and like a couple pairs of pants. Um, and they're loose. The problem is <laughs> I'm just going to keep losing weight and I don't want to, and it's not quite time to wear pants. Um, so I don't want to buy any pants right now. So I kind of need to hang on to the pants that I have and uh, the jeans, I don't know if they'll stay up once I can wear the jeans, but in the off chance that I need to actually wear an outfit that's not jogger pants, I need to hang on to the jeans. <laughs> so I have pants because I just don't want to waste money yet on buying new clothes like that. Um, I want to, anyway, I'll explain in the future but I still have a lot of weight to lose and I just I'm gonna just use what I've got I'm so hot kind of wish I had just left a tank top on I'm hot um but anyway uh I don't know what I'm gonna do this fall because I will continue hopefully to lose weight and those jeans will not stay up <laughs> so <clears throat> anyway I, I, it's kind of a predicament to be in it's a good predicament um, so I've gone through my closet just a little bit. Honestly, I could do a whole lot more because they're, none of the pants fit. They were all loose, but I just have to kind of hang on to stuff. And then I, I still like a lot of the shirts and they're going to fit a lot better, um, going into the winter. I literally don't have, well, I have sweatshirts that are long sleeve, but everything else is just short sleeves. And then I wear sweatshirts over the top. I am so hot. I need to get the fan working and get some ice water in me. Um, but there will come a day as I lose more weight that I'm going to have to donate a lot of my stuff. Um, I'm probably going to hang on to a lot of my Hawaii sweatshirts and t-shirts just because they're nostalgic and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go and edit for now. I've got laundry going and it kind of feels like a Saturday even though it's Tuesday. <laughs> um, I do have a bunch of stuff to, to donate, but I don't know if I'm going to do that today. Um, my car has all the cheer stuff in it. If I start taking stuff out of it, I'm going to forget it for cheer tonight. Also, my 4th of July stuff got... Oh, they, they kind of went back. These got soaking wet well, in our Toronto. I went out there the other day after the storm, and I noticed that the jar was like... Yeah, the jar is like... Well, the jar was full. Full of water. Yeah, full up and down. That's crazy. Water. This was full of water, so yeah. I dumped that out, and these were drenched. And these were drenched, but like, they've gone back to shape. So, these need to get, like, washed and then refolded nice. I don't trust, I haven't washed these yet. They're just decoration, but I don't trust washing those with regular clothes. I might just wash them with, like, a, a blue towel or something that doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so, we're going to go ahead and put this stuff away in our 4th of July decorations. So you are kind of getting some of my regular day. But, um, yeah, going through clothes is kind of a different experience for me. I'm gonna wash that off up here. All right, so I am going to take Ashley to get a crumble cookie, just one. <laughs> we do not need more than one. She wants, I don't know what it is, a specific, oh, she got me the wrong sweatshirt. It's cold out here. Um, you got the wrong one. I told. Okay. This is the only torque blue you want. Right? I know, but then I yelled up to you to get my new Maui one. I haven't worn it yet, but she got this one. Um, it's well, still a Maui one. I'm taking you to get one cookie. Why? You're just getting one. Maybe the sugar cookie one. Tell them what one you want to get. The Olivia Rodrigo one. Yeah. And I also really want the waffle. One. The what? The waffle. The waffle. Yeah, the waffle. You don't need both cookies. Regardless, that doesn't fit well with this video of, of losing weight. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to add it. 
I'll be with you in just a second. I'm gonna take her to get a cookie. I'm actually gonna have her get out of the car. <laughs> Can you just go get my water bottle? I'm just having her step out of the car because I'm trying to like, my kids know that I'm on this journey, but I'm trying to just, I don't want to talk about weight around my kids, especially because they're girls. So I'm, I'm conscious of like that concept. Um, and I appreciate that the doctor's office is now, they have the girls turn away from the scale and we don't talk about what their actual weight is. They just put it right into their chart. Um, oh, she thought she was going to get in the car. I forgot to mention that while I was getting changed and cleaned up and whatnot today, I did get back on the scale and it is official. I am officially 50 pounds down. And I'm actually four pound, four ounces away from 51 pounds. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I'm on this journey and I'm very excited and it's very motivating. So, um, just stay with me. If you need the extra motivation, um, it is possible to do.